Hello guys and welcome back. In this video I'm going to measure the power consumption of the different output power levels of the FR Sky R9M module on my Tyrannus. In order to measure the current of the FR Sky R9M module, I have placed a digital multimeter in series to the circuit of my Tyrannus, powered by the FR Sky 2000 mA battery. Now I'm switching on my multimeter to measure the current. My multimeter is set to the 10 amps terminal. And now when I'm switching on my Tyrannus, you can see the multimeter is showing the current in amps. At this time the Tyrannus voltmeter shows 8.1 volts. I'm paging over to the model page and we see that there is only enabled the internal EU LBT module on my Tyrannus. So only with the internal module we have a current of 120 mA. Now I'm switching off the internal module and I'm switching on the external R9M module on its lowest output power of 10 mW. Here we have a current of 160 milliamps. I'm also powering on my quad, so the Tyrannus will be connected with the receiver. We will also see the power switching on the adaptive mode of the R9M. The current even raises up to 170 milliamps. Now I'm changing the output power to 100 milliwatts, followed by 500 milliwatts. Here we have a current of 210 milliamps on 100 milliwatts output power and 320 milliamps on 500 milliwatts output power. And now when I'm switching to 1 watt output power, the current decreases to 220 milliamps, the same level as just on 100 milliwatts output power. So as you can see, on the adaptive mode, the module is just sending on 100 milliwatts until I disconnect my quad. Now the R9M module is switching to 1 watt output power and the current is increasing up to 370 milliamps. Now I will also check the different output levels when the internal module is also enabled. This will be interesting for those who are using the redundancy function with both modules. So here we have a current of 250 milliamps on 10 milliwatts output power, 290 milliamps on 100 milliwatts, 390 milliamps on 500 milliwatts, and 460 milliamps on 1 watt output power. Please keep in mind that the voltage of the battery on my Tyrannus drops. We are not having the same voltage level than on the beginning of our testing. So the current increases when the voltage drops. I even could have installed a voltage meter as well, but I didn't want to make it too much complicated. Actually this isn't a well scientific test, but all in all I think this video shows the approximately power consumption on the different output power levels. So finally, with both modules enabled and the R9M on the highest output power level, you have an almost 4 times higher power consumption as on the first test with only the internal EU LBT module. At the end, I show you all test results. For this, I have used the average voltage of my Tyrannus from this test scenario. Well, this technical stuff wasn't easy to explain as a non-native speaker. But I hope I could made it clear and I didn't make too much technical mistakes in my description. Thank you for watching and see you on my next video.